Hi and welcome back to the yard. We have something new again. This is the brand new Blue Eddy B500K. This is a 5120, yes, uh, 5120 watt hour, uh, 5.12 kilowatt hour lithium phosphate expansion battery for the uh, Apex, for the AC200L, for the AC300 for the AC500. Uh, it takes the place or will go in the place of the uh, B300K or B300 battery. It'll work with all those models. It's just larger. It is 100 amp hours at the uh, 51.2 volts uh, nominal, which is uh, what these guys run internally, as opposed to the 60 amp hours of the uh, B300 and uh, B300K. So this is a uh, a much bigger battery it is 99 pounds it uh, yeah I did not show unboxing it because it was kind of a struggle I mean I recorded it but nobody wants to see that uh, yeah uh, so I've got uh, the apex and some other stuff here and we're gonna we're gonna do some things with it but first uh, let me get the camera down and let's just do a walk around of this thing and uh, see what it uh, see what it looks like so here we are up close uh, no USB port, no output of any type on this one. Uh, not even the single USB of the B300K. Uh, around to the battery port side, we have the P090D ports. Uh, these are vertical instead of side by side like they are on the B300K, most likely to account for the increased height. Around the back, we have the bracket lug captive uh captive nuts attachment points and on the left side nothing and you see i've got uh, apex and trolley out here so we're gonna do some arranging so this isn't secure and i don't recommend trying to move this but there's good light and it's hard to see with the gray and everything but uh, here we have uh, B300K, B300K, the B500K, and Apex. And you can see, I mean, Apex has the two flaps here, but this is your solar input. It only has one battery port. So to connect it to an expansion battery, you need to come straight down. So uh, battery, Apex, and then click and lock. Don't forget these you know, all that. But, uh, so if you've got a B500K, you just go straight down this side. But when you have uh, B300, B300Ks, uh, the ports are side by side, so you need to come off of Apex. So pretend this would be Apex. You come down from Apex to your first B300K, and then you have to go over and down to the next one, and, and they alternate. So what happens when you have Apex and one B300K, and then B500s. So uh, you don't, if, if you just had one of these here, the port would be on the wrong side and you could not make the connection to the B500K. So what you, what you would need to do is uh, either run the B300Ks two at a time, or make the B500K the first thing that comes off of Apex. If you have multiples of these, make them come off first and then add the Add your single B300K at the bottom, or uh, or use the the long conventional cables and not these short jumpers. Hope this is useful. I'm going to take this apart before I get hurt. Actually, before I take it apart, uh, and it is this is powered up now. I connected it. Uh, there was no firmware to update on here yet. Yet, uh, let's just take a quick measurement while we can see the tape measure and everything out here. So the uh, B300K is uh, like eight and just a fraction. I think it's eight and a quarter inches tall. The uh, B500K is 12 and a fraction inches tall. And Apex itself is like 12.6, 12 and three fourths inches tall. So it's, it's nearly as tall as Apex itself. Uh, again, it is 100 pounds. If I remember, this is like 83 pounds. Uh, these are in the, I think, 60-some, 60 68 pounds, so th this, is, this is heavy. This is a lot of energy here, but I have a few things scattered uh, around my yard right now. Just messing with some 
configurations and uh, don't mind the grass on the units. But uh, what would happen if, uh, or would it work if you put uh, B300K, B500K, and Apex on a trolley? Uh, obviously, it, it, it looks real nice. It clears the handle here, but uh, do the brackets catch? Uh, we can see here the lower bracket on Apex is captured. And uh, I think if you added another four inches for, uh, for uh, if you did uh, two B500s instead of a, a mixed batch here, if you did two B500Ks, uh, this bracket would probably be right near the top uh, uh, of this rail. So just marginally captured. So it, it, would, um, it would hold it, it would hold Apex, but you won't have the top bracket captured. So Apex uh, could be at risk of of a, of a tip over situation. So maybe if you're doing it stationary. So one last mock-up and my head's probably mostly cut off here, but I wanted to get a good close up of this. So this is a configuration that will not work. Apex, B3, single B300K and then B500K. Notice, so the Apex has the single connector here and this is what I was talking about earlier. It has to go straight down with these short jumpers and then the B300K's matching uh, connector is is here uh, and there's nowhere there's nowhere to mate it to so if you're going to do a single b300k and a, a b500k uh, this has to be at the bottom or you need two of these to put the connector back to the proper side to connect to the uh, b500k or the b500k has to be up here that was a lot of mocking up and we are now indoors to do some charge and discharge testing. Uh, we're going to start with the discharge and I have the B500K hooked up to my trusty AC300. Why am I not doing this with Apex? Uh, well, the Apex has its own battery and I can't, I can't measure just this by itself because it would discharge everything. The AC300 works beautifully with this. Uh, as would the AC500, but it's over here actually doing work for my house right now, which is, which is what it does. So I have the AC300 connected to the B500K. Uh, it has been fully charged up. Here's the cord coiled up, so we're at 100% ready to go. Uh, I'm going to turn on the AC output. I have over there my one of my trusty heaters, so we're going to plug that guy in and pop this heater on to full power. And this, of course, is not gonna be a test at all uh, for the AC300 or for the B500K, but we're looking for uh, total energy delivery. We're gonna see what we get out of this. And I will see you in probably four hours. We are back and fully charged here. Turn my power meter back on. I actually did this test twice, so this is the second discharge and full recharge and I've got some graph paper here for us to review. So uh, let's start at the top here. My first discharge I got uh, 4468 watt hours out of the B500K out of a total nameplate of 5120. Uh, it's 87% actually 87.2% I got out of it. Uh, second full discharge I got a little bit more uh, 30 more uh, watt hours for a total of 4,498 watt hours, divide that 87.8%. That's very, very good. Uh, then on charging, I got uh, 5,902 watt hours going into the system, uh, zero to 100%. And then the second one took a little bit less. And again, let me just remind everybody that this is with an AC300. These are not known to be the most efficient uh, boxes out there. This is currently like two generations old. It's a beast, it's a workhorse, but it has some parasitic load. And uh, that goes into both of these, both of these efficiency numbers. Um, then let me just review. So uh, one thing with the B500K is it is one-to-one -one replaceable with the uh, B300 and the B300K. And depending on what you're doing, I think, with the B300S, you know, special cables and all. But any system you can put a B300 or B300K on, you can put a B500 on. So let me just review some of those systems and what this does to their capacity. 
So the uh, AC200L, you can put two expansion batteries on it, two full-size ones uh, with a special cable. You can put two little ones on it too. But it has 2,048 watt hours built in. So with two B500Ks, that gives you a total of 12.2 kilowatt hours. And in comparison with uh, a B300K versus a B500K, that is a net gain of 4.7 kilowatt hours. That is more than an additional B300K that you just added to it with, with the bigger battery. Then let's look at the AC300. Uh, it can take four batteries. So four times 5120 is 20.4 kilowatt hours, uh, which is 9.4 more than if you use B300Ks. Uh, look, we're just going to continue up the chain here. Uh, AC500, it can take six batteries. So if you did six of these batteries, you would have a total of uh, 30.7 kilowatt hours, which is 14 more, 14 kilowatt hours more than if you used B300Ks. Yeah, it, it, it adds up quick. Uh, and then the big daddy, Apex. What makes Apex so different? It has a B300K basically built into it. So you take that plus this number, because it can also take six batteries, you get a whopping total of 33.4 kilowatt hours connected to a single Apex head unit. And the difference over the B300K would be exactly the same because it's six batteries. Then you can combine Apexes together. So say you put three Apexes in parallel with the A1 hub. So three times this number, 100.4 kilowatt hours coming out of a single cord. That's, uh, that's a lot. Uh, I'm going to put the spec of the uh, ACE, uh, B500K up on the screen. Feel free to pause it and read over the weights and dimensions and everything. And that is a quick overview of the new Bluetti B500K, the newest battery addition to the Bluetti lineup. This is by far the biggest portable power station battery they're, they're making right now at 100 pounds and 100 amp hours or uh, 5,120 watt hours, 5.12 kilowatt hours. It's a beast. Um, I tried to focus on how this can be integrated into your existing setup because it will mix with B5, uh, B300s, uh, B300Ss, and B300Ks. But uh, there are some potential considerations to take into account if you're going to use the new short jumper cables. Uh, I did a quick capacity test on it. Uh, it certainly seems to deliver its rated capacity. And again, it is 100 pounds. I was uh, careful not to show uh, me moving it around uh, by myself at 100 pounds. I did that, but I don't want to be an example to others. Get some help. It's a big battery. Thanks for watching.